What's up, Koa here. I have been hanging out the last few days in southern Missouri, in southern Illinois, doing some fishing for the sister channel, Fishing Smarts, and then I heard about Snake Road. And I want to see if it lives up to its name. If you live in the central United States and love nature trails or animals, then I want you to consider making a stop by Snake Road, especially in the springtime or fall. This is just a gorgeous area, the whole Shawnee National Forest. I'll tell you where to park and give you some tips on how to find some really beautiful animals. <laughs> so if you just type in LaRue Pine Hills into your Google Maps, then you'll be able to see the biggest parking lot available on the northern part of the road. It's a fairly small, unpaved parking lot, and maybe holds 12 cars or so. There is also a smaller lot on the south end of the road. I will link a PDF in the description that has a map and some other useful information. So yes, I'm here in Shawnee National Forest, a place called Snake Road that they close to cars for uh, a couple of weeks in the spring as well as in the fall and it is the fall right now and they close this road because the amphibians and reptiles use uh, that road as a, it, they cross it during their migration route to their hibernacula and so they these big uh, bluffs behind me which are primarily made of calcium carbonate from the shells of ancient animals that had died in oceans long ago the reptiles and amphibians go in there in the winter because they're going to be warm and then in the spring they come back down into uh, these marsh area, swamp area, to uh, feed during the summer. So let's see what we can find today. Hopefully we can find some, some cotton mouth. I would love to. So I won't be able to handle any of the snakes. They really don't want you to harass the animals. And of course handling a snake would be considered harassment. So as much as I would love to cuddle a copperhead... Ooh, alliteration. We're not going to be doing that today, so we'll hope the uh, snakes pose for the camera. This road is unpaved, and it's almost just like being on a hiking trail. It may be flooded in a few spots. The elevation changes are not extreme, and it can be done by most people. There are also many other animals along this road other than snakes, like this charming raccoon. If you're feeling up to it, there's a path closer alongside the bluff. It's a bit more difficult to trek, but that'll let you look into the crevices and see what other creatures might be nearby. I was happy to find a pair of cave salamanders right near the bluff. You'll most likely find some southern leopard frogs near the water's edge. Also keep an eye out for the small Blanchard's cricket frog, which has a variety of patterns and colors. It's been, I don't know, I've been here for four or five hours. Uh, I was just about to turn around and then I saw this little, you know, sort of an ephemeral pond behind me and I went to go look, see if any fish were in it, and I found a little cottonmouth. So you can tell it's a juvenile, well, because it's very small, but also see that sulfur little tip on the tail there. So this bright yellow tail is used to attract prey, like small frogs. If the frogs think that it is an insect or other small animal that they could eat, they'll be convinced to enter the snake's strike zone. They're just absolutely gorgeous snakes. I find vipers to be so beautiful. And yes, this is a venomous snake. You wouldn't want to be bit by one. It is dangerous to humans if you are bit. It is my lucky day. So I just was stepping away from the young cottonmouth and I almost stepped on an adult cottonmouth right here. Oh man, so happy. Now you could really see why it's called a cottonmouth because when they uh, feel threatened, obviously this guy thought I was about to step on them. They open up their mouth, uh, 
they show those teeth. I mean, those fangs right there are intimidating. The snake road was not lying. And look how easy it would be to step on these uh, snakes. You have to be careful wherever you're walking. This dude has moved a little bit. And now, he or she is uh, still giving me a little warning signal, but under the leaf litter here. The cottonmouth is the only semi-aquatic viper in the world and the only venomous water snake found here in the United States. This species is actually quite docile and will not bite unless provoked. If you keep your distance, then you'll be fine. And a cottonmouth will give anybody a fair warning to go away by just showing their open mouth like this. There is another snake moving across the road, right there. Snake Road is living up to its name. Let's go look at it. So this right here is another adult cottonmouth. And surprisingly, it's not that threatened by me. It's not popping up its mouth. It's not curling up. I think it just wants to cross the road. But that's why they shut down this road because the amount of kill that happens to reptiles and amphibians during these seasonal migrations they make into these bluffs to get to their hibernacula, their dens, to stay warm for the winter is ridiculously high. Um, it was a smart move. You know, some of the locals at the time probably were not happy with it. But, you know, it's worth keeping these species alive. They are important players in food webs. They keep ecosystems healthy. I just love vipers. Are you going somewhere? Okay. Well, we should probably let this cotton mouth go back about its day. So my best piece of advice for finding the snakes is to look very thoroughly around the places where the road is very near the water level of the nearby swamp waters. Cottonmouth are excellent swimmers, so keep an eye out on the water as well. Heading back to the car. Here's the road. Here's another one fresh out of the swamp. And you can tell because it's still got duckweed on its back. Whoop. They focus there. It doesn't think I see it right now. There are more than 20 species of snakes in this area, so keep an eye out for all types. And of course, be on the lookout for a little four leaf clover. Good luck. All right, so Snake Road, it lived up to its name. You know, it's actually a great nature trail, even if you don't find any snakes. I suggest you get the family out here and do it sometime. I'm gonna go eat some food because I haven't eaten in nine hours and I'm starving. Yeah, spread some knowledge, be nature heroic.